Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Yes, I am still full of cold. I'm filming this the day before you're um, seeing it. I've been desperately trying to hope that I could get a voice back together, but apparently that's not happening. So this is the project we're making today. It's lovely. It's a triangular treat box. I designed this ages ago, long before the retiring list came out, which is why I've got the, the outgoing mint macaron on here, which I'm going to be very sad to say goodbye to, but also texture chic paper that's going to so if they haven't already gone go and get them now um, because they're both lovely but because I used old I want to use new so I'm using a new paper pack called Countryside In and Boho Blue so this paper pack is just gorgeous I'm, already, I'm using this one for this project it's just lovely look at those hairs I'm, I'm saying they're hairs because countryside could be rabbits but um Actually, I don't think the ears are long enough for hairs. Rabbits, we'll call them rabbits. Doves. We have doves in our garden. We had um, Jeff and Jeffina, who lived in our old house, and they were massive things. We used to call them turkey doves. I don't think such a thing exists, but that's what we called them. Um, and now we have Kevin in our garden, because Kevin has got one foot. And if you're the right age, he's footless. <laughs> so he's called Kevin and then we've got foxes here and we do have a couple of foxes that come down to our the front of our house and yeah just occasionally they set off my ring camera and uh, yeah that's the paper I'm using and I'm using boho blue so the colours that are in that pack are boho blue balmy blue night of navy and misty moonlight so boho blue is a new in colour and misty moonlight is a returning colour we've had it before okay so let's get making let me find my instructions need a piece of cardstock that is eight by ten and a half inches 20 by 26 and a half centimeters and on the long side it's very simple score it at two five seven and ten inches which in metric is five, 12 and a half, 17 and a half, and two and a half. And then on the short side, score it at two inches and five inches, which is two and a half, it's not, it's five centimeters and 12 and a half centimeters. And then come back to the original side and we're gonna put the score lines in here. So at the moment, this is the footprint of our project. Okay, so the score lines are going to need to come down here. So I've got one score line there and another there, and I need to come down towards this bottom one. So score at one inch down to about the five inch mark, and then six inches again down to the five inch mark, which in metric you're scoring at two and a half centimeters down to 12 and a half centimeters, and then you're scoring at 12 and a half. No, you're not. You're scoring at 15 down to 12 and a half. Please don't worry, though. Everything's going to get written down on, on my blog. And OK, so let's get this burnished up. Oops. Don't worry about the part scores for a minute. And actually, I've forgotten to put in my diagonal lines. I need to put those in. OK. So where we've done the part score, down to there, I'm going to put a line, a score line in from there to there and there to there to create the triangle that's at the side of this. There we go, got that caught. So those are done. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting and then I'm going to do some, come back to um, my, well actually I'm gonna to come to my trimmer. Oh, questionable scissors, let's get another pair. Okay, and I'm just going to wedge into that square a little bit just makes it close a little neater. Uh, 
Okay, right. <clears throat> so this um, front flap here comes from the back. So I'm establishing where the back is, and that is this panel here next to that thin skinny line. And I'm gonna get rid, <gasps> very brave, get rid of all of the rest. And all of that too, so just come along. You could do this with the trimmer, and ironically I'm about to get my trimmer out, but you know, we're not gonna worry about that for now. But you could do it with your trimmer if you're not as confident with the scissors. Hang on to that bit. Okay, so that's going to fold around, but I want it to be at a point. So, while I've got my ruler here, we're just gonna mark off the halfway mark. And I've done this one in Imperial. So, I'm just gonna mark off. So the halfway point for me is um, one and a half centimeters, but if you're working in metric, that's going to be 2.5, no. 2.75 and anyway you know what to do okay so now bring in your trimmer and cut from that mark down to the corner which is this bit here and I'm just folding it over to get it out of the way again you could do it with a pair of scissors if you wanted I just find this easier While we are here, I have got my designer series paper. These are two and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches, one for the front and one for the top. Now, this is a little harder to do, to divide 2.75 inches in half. So I'm gonna fold it because that's cheating and easy. And just do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna turn and cut the corner off and I'm going to fold it over and do this side and cut oopsie that corner off as well if I could get hold of it I would there we go so they were two and three quarters by two and three quarters so seven by seven centimeters. scooch all of that out of the way and I'm going to start putting it together but I'm going to put it together before I put paper on so, oh, hello, Sorrel. Oh, come on, come on. No, no, you're lovely. Not helpful. And, oh, hello. She's head Oh, she's just stood on the end. Oh, she's falling off the table. So that piece of tape, fold it up, and then, oh, really? Oh, there's a tail in my face. I'm going to put some more tape along here. So that is the back. Oh, she's launched onto the back of my chair. So some there and some on here. Oh, I don't want to do this bit yet. No. Okay, I've got the tape. I haven't taken off the backing. Right. <laughs> so here's where the fun happens. I'm going to get my little mini magnets. Now I will put a link to Amazon where I get them from and I want two of them. And they are very strong and will jump together. So these are neodymium magnets. Now, where I've got it hidden is actually between the paper and the card. So it's under this bit, which you can see it there. So, I get my triangle and I'm going to get a mini glue dot. Because, oh, really? Sorry, all. These are strong enough. And I'm going, that's not, oh, she wants to kiss me now. Oh, for goodness sake. There we go. I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm going to get the other one and just pick it up like that. So I know that's in the right place. I'm going to get another mini glue dot. 
onto the back there and then I'm going to, I'm not worrying about the bottom, I'm just folding it to get it into place. And if you let go, you can get your hands in there and press very, very firmly. So that's in place. Now I can put my paper over the top. So yeah, two and three quarters by two and three quarter inches, seven by seven centimeters. Put that over the top of that one. And then this bit is going to sit over there with the same border around it. And then folding those two, peel off the backing. So I'm going to put the back in first. And then that one. And when you fold it round, that's going to snap shut. And it's it's not so strong that you're going to rip the card or anything, um, but strong enough that it will stay closed. Now, there is... And there are some beautiful things that go with the Countryside Suite. We've got the Countryside Corners um, stamp set, which is just gorgeous. And then these are the dies that go with it that I've yet to open. <clears throat> so you've got all the different dies that go around each. So this is one solid stamp. It's one stamp. So you would stamp it all and then die cut the bits you want. I'm just going to throw that over there. Die cut the bits you want, but that's too big for me for this project. But there's also an embossing folder, which is rather lovely. Um, my voice is on the way out now. But I'm going to do the same as I did on my original project, which was... Um, oh, what's this? I can't read the, uh, the Petal Park punch. So I'm going to punch three boho blue flowers and then I hope I've got a scrap of dark blue um, yes knight of navy well it's not exactly a scrap I could make a card out of that misty moonlight there we go and I'm going to go for some leaves put it down at the bottom one two three so I pull out my three leaves that I want and the three flowers I want and have a cat help me. Off you go. And get my little bit of spongy mat. Really not helpful, Sorrel. And then take the, the lidded end of the take your pick with the putty, push in the middle, push in the middle of that one and that one and then I know I've got some new embellishments but I don't know if they're the right colour oh they'll do yeah so these are ooh there you go they're the in colours so that is going to be um, the right colour oh, let me just do it this way round oh no they don't want to let go do they <laughs> let go let go there we go okay on there and then get some glued I've lost my glue dots they're right in front of me just onto the back of each of those and although they flattened a little bit the um, creasing is still there muscle memory of the creased card stock. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to cough. I think that's cue for me to go and finish sooner rather than later. <coughs> okay, a big one down at the bottom. There was a brief hiatus for about 15 minutes while I coughed an awful lot because I couldn't speak any longer. Okay, I'm not sure I can con 
carry on much longer either. So let me get this quickly done and put those up and then start tucking the leaves away. Might not be able to talk, just going to show you. I hope you like it. Very sweet, everything's on my blog. All the details are on my blog. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon, if I can. Bye.